ladies and gentlemen, let's get the two fighters uh, introduced here. This one, four by three minute round. Introducing to you first, standing across in the red corner. Tip the scales, 57.7 kilos. Trained out of the Impact Boxing Club under the guidance of Mark Evans. Eight and zero, please give it up for Luke Martin. And his opponent standing across in the blue corner. He tipped the scales, 57.8 kilos. From Townsville, he's trained by Tahi Tate from the Wolves of Boxing Gym. Give it up for Jalen the Wolf Tate. <laughs> Referee third man in the middle, Mr. John Watson. Okay, boxers, we've, we've been over the rules in the dressing room. Keep it clean, obey my commands at all times. Good luck. Round number one. Four three minute rounds. We're doing it. And super featherweight. Luke Martin in the white trunks, the right handed boxer. Comes to the ring at 0 and 1. Jalen Tate, 3 and 0 in the red. Mohawk and the Southpaw boxer. Yeah, in every pro fight Jalen's had to date, he's been adding layers to his game. And I don't see any reason why he can't keep on building on that tonight. However, this is no doubt Jalen's hardest test to date. Absolutely. As, as the man standing in front of him only lost the majority decision to one of Australia's biggest prospects in Dana Coolwell. So that is big form coming into this. Speed of both men, really good, even for super featherweight. Got good defences, does he, Jalen Tate? He definitely does. He evades well. He sees punches yeah. very well. Like he's uh, hands down by his by his waist, but can read the read the fight very clearly, especially for a person of only his uh, obviously only having his second or third pro fight. Got a really wide stance. As a result, when the legs are wide, you're able to move on your feet you're able to avoid punches should you wish by not taking them just moving away from them yeah apologies is his fourth profile fourth fight, here yep. tonight but he's had three wins but not much experience nevertheless so he's seen punches really well here early on in his career a couple good shots there from luke martin on the way in jalen tate the ultra professional very comfortable out there the wolf Jalen Tate. Yep, the wolf. Just to push forward there. Absolutely nothing in that shot. Lukey Martin saw that coming. Happy to take a, a shot like that. A massive reach advantage to Jalen Tate here. Almost pouring out the front. Yep. Just trying to find his his ideal range and his ideal range way outside the ideal range for Luke Martin who's got to get in and under but there's a nice left hand big left hand just caught the mark there Jalen Tate scoring Luke Martin continues to march forward however Luke is on the uh, quick backup here he only fought last month so this is his second fight in two months so he's definitely fit enough for this assignment. If you guys hear that have fought over the last five to eight weeks, yep. just seconds. desperate to get busy after a year. It's been all over the place for a whole lot of us. They touch him up at the end of the first round. Luke Martin goes back to the corner with Mark Evans, one of the best in the biz. Some replays of the first round here. It was a very active round once again. Yeah. But Jalen, that cracking shot there, probably stole the round. Yep. He wobbled his opponent there for a, for a split second. To his credit, he kept on marching forward after it. 
but it definitely wobbled him for that split second. Get the feeling Luke Martin doesn't have a backward step in him. No, they call him the Mad Dog, so I'm guessing that's the reason why. He's only got a forward button, no reverse. Well, we'll take that right here on Ace Boxing Group. As you can see, he's trying to break down that distance, but Jalen's doing a goal and a good left hand as he tried to come in. Gee, that was quick. It was very quick. <laughs> Cobra-like. He's trying to break down that distance, but it's just uh, Jalen's almost like he's got the broomstick in between them. Yeah. Every, every time he takes a forward step, he takes one backward step, maintaining that distance. He's going to have to come out with an idea here, is Luke Martin, to get inside the reach of Jalen Tate and to stay there. And that may well just be becoming the aggressor and turning the positioning of the fight around because from his back foot, from the ropes, it is a long night for, for young Lukey Martin. Easier said than done. It is, but it all starts with your feet. You've got to start... You've got to start walking him down. You've got to start closing the distance and cutting off the ring. That's the biggest thing. For a shorter fighter, you have to know how to cut off the ring to back your opponent into the corners and into the ropes. If you can't do that, well, your night's going to be very long. Good right hand over the top there by Luke Martin. Yeah, it was sort of an in-between punch, wasn't it, from Luke Martin? It wasn't straight. It wasn't quite a hook, but tell you what, it was effective. So who cares what it was? Names don't matter, power does. And that's evident for Luke Martin. His two fights to date. First one, Dana Coolwell. Second one, Jalen Tate. He's not scared of anyone, this kid. Tate with that wide stance, that Southpaw style, hands down. He's dominating the middle of the ring. And if aggression is... And control is what the judges are looking for. Whoops. Little low. But if aggression and control are what the judges are looking for, Jalen Tate in the class above already. And that's not a that's not a crack at Luke, that's just fact. Jalen has marched into the middle of that ring and is controlling where and how this is fought. Yeah, another cracking left hand there, scoring from Jalen Tate. His distance is perfect here tonight, and you can see he's making a miss by a whisker, but coming straight back on straight, straight after with his own counter-attack. As he bullies Martin to the ropes there, trying to unload some body shots of his own. Just missing once again, Martin. Tate, got great eyes. Last couple of seconds of the second round, they touch him up. Good sportsmanship from Luke Martin and Jalen Tate. No, that's not Jason Mamoa. As we can see the replay here, that cracking left hand that I spoke about early on in the rounds. Once again, it was good for Martin to come back and survive that round with a cracking shot like that, getting launched onto your head. And there was another one there from Jalen Tate. He is on tonight. One of our longtime supporters, not only supporters and sponsors, but mates of the crew from Madison Sport. They've been with Ace Boxing Group for a long time now. They love us. We love them. They're here tonight. So is their signage. So is their product. And they are presenting this bout. Madison Sport to the entire crew. Love you guys. Thanks for your support. Best in the business. And we hope we're doing you proud with another fabulous show here tonight. Round three. We think... Jalen Tate in the red is in control of this over Luke Martin in the white. Here comes Martin. Maybe he thinks the same too, and he also thinks it's time for a change. Yeah, he's been tipped off in the corner. Obviously, Mark Evans is not a silly man. He knows he's behind on the scorecards, and he needs to change things up, and he needs to change things up fast, and that's what he's done here in this opening of this third round. Luke Martin coming out very fast, but can he maintain that? Can he maintain a 
pace? Can he maintain the aggression and can he maintain the positioning? Because that's where the control has been in the favour of Jalen Tate. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Beauty, that was a really good right hand. And it has already marked the face of Jalen Tate. Just over the, the right eye, or the left eye, should I say, the other right. Yeah, punch of the fight so far for Luke Martin. But he needs to back it up. He needs to have punches and bunches and double and triple those up to really back Jalen up as he tries to throw it again, but just missing the mark that time and again. Middle minute, halfway through. Round number three. And you know what they call him, the mad dog. He is 100 mile an hour, throwing punches from all angles. Doesn't care where he throws them from. If they're hitting, he's happy. Good job there from Tate. Nice foot movement there from Luke Martin. That is really natural and really smooth. Coming in, getting under the shot of his opponent, slipping as he moved. Yeah, biting down the mouth guard is Luke Martin. He's trying to find that slip right hand. He's looked for it a few times. Yeah. Just missed the mark. He knows that might be a punch that can end this fight with one shot. Difficult one against a southpaw with a substantial reach advantage. I mean, in theory, that's the stuff nightmares are made of for a short right-hander. It is. It is. And you can see he's looking for that right hand. When, when an orthodox fights a southpaw, the biggest mistake they do is just continually look for that right hand. Yep. The left hand is the, still the closest punch to their head. Yep. So they should never eliminate that. That sets up everything. It still sets up your feet so you can throw a proper right hand. If you don't have your feet underneath you, there's no power behind that right hand. Three of four in the books. Once again to the crew at Oxworks. Action Metal Recyclers, Wanless Waste, Thor Building Products, and Bill Chaser. He supports awesome guys. We can see on the replays here, it was a good right hand catching Jalen as he was going backwards. So not, not really hurting him, but catching him off balance. And then that pouring jab there from the Wolf. Jalen Tate, Luke Martin, super featherweight brought to us by Madison Sport. A little hug too before the fourth and final and round. Final All for touching Tate. gloves, not sure about the hug just before trying to break your jaw. Yeah, I'm the same as you. Here we go. Again, the pace, extreme. It's just picked up here now, there's uh, desperation different desperation for both fighters obviously Tate's ahead he wants to make a mark here he wants to finish this by knockout whereas yeah. on the other side of the, of the coin Martin wants to get back this win because I think it's safe to say he is definitely behind on the scorecards and a Wolves boxing got dad in the corner good left left hook there from Martin followed by a right hand just missing the mark the right could have been a fight changer it really only has been single shots of significance. There hasn't been a huge combination really at any point from either guy. And you can see the desperation starting to creep in in Martin's work now. He's just throwing it from his hips, his big right hand. He's trying to land anything to hurt Jalen Tate now. I love the differences I've seen from Luke Martin over the course of the last couple of rounds, and I will put that down to both Luke being adaptable, but also Mark Evans for impact boxing in his corner just being so smart. And, and pro boxing is, you know, the ultimate 
for these boxing trainers at any gym around Australia. But it's the work they do with the amateurs and the work they do with the kids, kids like yourself that came through the system, that is just outstanding. And they, they put a lot of time into the next generation of young Australians. But they also put the polish on the guys that we see on the TV fighting for dollars. But not all of them do out of every gym. You're 100% right there. Mark Evans was the president of amateur Queensland Amateur Boxing yep. there for a long time. So he has invested so much of his time and energy into the sport. So he deserves nothing less than success. Not wanting to throw stones at anyone too, but being in a high-ranking position in any amateur organisation, an absolute headache. Big time, big time, and, and not financially rewarded, as we know. So no. it's a headache for very little, but the love of the game. Last 30 seconds. Make that last 20 seconds of what's been a beauty at Super Featherweight. Still looking for that big shot as Jalen Tate in the redder. Shoulder roll there, and a couple of speculators perhaps looking for the chin of Luke Martin, who has not been hard to find. He stood there. He's come forward. And he's thrown them as well for 12 solid minutes. He just hasn't had maybe the, the volume of punches landing or the class to go side by side with the 3-0 Jalen Tate, expecting him to go 4-0 here. Yeah, very polished display once again from the Wolf Jalen Tate. He will go to 4-0 here. He's, uh, he's very, very good, and he's, like I said at the start of the start of the fight, he is progressing with every fight. He's getting better and better. He's adding to his artillery every fight. We see something different all the time from Jalen Tate, and we've seen no different here tonight. As we can see, some of these replays of the, the fifth and final, or the fourth and final round, rather, he was just clinical tonight. Well done, Jalen. Well done to Tahi and the entire team from Wolves Boxing. Well done to this crew, Mark Evans, Impact Boxing, Luke Martin. Luke's going to walk out of here 0-2 as a professional. It, it does not do him justice in any way, shape or form. He's, he's a better fighter than 0-2 and I would love to see him back. I, I hope we do. Uh, he's got plenty to offer in the, the smaller weight divisions. Conducted himself fabulously. He, and is obviously a genuine boxer as well. We're going to take a short break after the official announcement here. There's some auction items up for grabs. I'm going to head to the bar. Nathan's going to go and ring his wife and make sure everything's all right at home with the kids. <laughs> Actually... He might even be bidding on uh, one of the memorabilia items. If not, I'll put a phantom bid in for a good mate of mine, BK, who's in the crowd. Let's go to James O'Shea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, put your hands together for another fantastic contest. I say it each time, but again, you're getting plenty of value for your money here tonight. We go to the judges' scorecards here, and Judge Rodney Marsh scored about 39 to 37. Judge Philip Holliday scored about 40 to 36. And Judge Alan Burford adjudged the fight 39 to 37. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to uh, the blue corner, Jalen, the Wolf Team. Hey, good win. Expected.